Hi guys, these are elevations of a house I created in AutoCAD and with AI I created these renders from them. I also changed the materials and season with just a simple prompt. The AI tool used for it is called Nano Banana. It's a free AI tool by Google. The link is given below. Just sign in with your Google account. Now to teach you guys, I'll use drawings from another of my projects and show you exactly how this is done. Now these are the elevations that I will use to create a 3D with Nano Banana. Before going to Nano Banana, we need to make some basic settings in our 3D. The most important one is the layers. We have to set the layers so that AI can read the elevation and know which part of the building comes in front and which one is in the back. The thickest line weight is closest to the camera like this yellow one 0.35 thick. Then the one further will be 0.25 and so on. Now the next thing I have done is annotated all the materials that I want to use over here. I have simply used hatches and annotations to do that. Like I've marked brick cladding on, on these walls. Then I have white travertine stone cladding over here. I've used it with this straight hatch. Then I've kept the area to be painted all blank and I have marked it white paint. I've also annotated glass railing. So make sure you have done all these things so that AI can read it easily and make less mistakes. Also mark the drawing very clearly like this is the front elevation so mark it. So I've just made PDFs of these elevations and I'll be going to Nano Banana and create 3D from it. Once you sign in, this page appears. Go to try Nano Banana. Now upload the drawings that we just made. Once uploaded, type the prompt. After several attempts, I have been able to create this prompt that works just fine for me. You can also copy it from here. Once you enter the prompt, just click on run. And this is what has been generated. Not bad, but also not very nice. Needs a bit of work. But what is impressive is how AI has read my drawings and created this 3D elevation for me. Now I want to change this brick material a bit. I will use this material as a reference. But before going to Nano Banana, we have to make sure that the resolution of the original image and the reference image are the same. For that, we will go to Photoshop and I will overlay this reference image on my original image to make sure the resolution is the same and just save the image. After that, go to Nano Banana and upload the reference image with the updated resolution and type a prompt, change the brick material to the attached reference image and click on run. In 20 seconds, the image is ready. Looks much better now. Next, I'll use the same process and change this travertine stone material to this reference image. We will again need to adjust the image resolution according to our original image. And I'll have to do it in Photoshop again. Just save it as a JPEG and repeat the same process in Nano Banana. Upload the image, type the same prompt again, change the travertine stone material to the attached reference image and click on run. And this is the result, looks much better now. As you see, AI remembers the original annotations I gave in the CAD drawing and has placed travertine stones exactly at those points where I marked in the original drawings. This is one of the key features of Nano Banana as this is missing in most of the AI tools that we are using. I have continued giving prompts to make the image better and this is what I have created. It's as good as any other rendering software but much much faster and with Nano Banana, I have more control on it than other AI softwares that I have been using. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more informative content. Take care. Goodbye.